Last week, I asked you if you think creators or media have some sort of responsibility to be accurate. We talked about Jurassic World, CSI, and Neil deGrasse Tyson ruining everybody's space fun. Let's see what you had to say. Spinfuzz on the subreddit brings up Tolkien's idea of secondary belief, which is really great and definitely a part of this conversation. This idea that one does not need to actually believe that elves are real, for instance, in order to fully buy in to a story. And they talk about this idea of earning the things that are not necessarily true or possible in the fictional stories that we read, that creators have to earn these things that um, that are not uh, factual in some way. And I think that this is a great, a great way to put this idea. SR Pilha in their comment, uh, which is great, and I highly recommend reading the whole thing, um, also talks about the sort of Tolkien aspect of things and how these fictional stories kind of are teaching us about themselves while they are doing the world building. And so there is some sort of, there is some sort of education and responsibility, but again, it all comes from a place of entertainment. So it's important to consider that as well. Rolandicus also on the subreddit writes about their experience as a historical fencer as it relates to violence in media. And I am not even going to attempt to summarize what is said because this is so interesting. And I think that I have a policy now that when someone says they are a historical fencer, I am gonna stop talking and just listen, because this was great. Rala, this is, this is a family program. How dare you? Anya Boscovich and a bunch of other people seized onto this idea that the problem of accuracy in a lot of media is maybe a marketing problem that if a story can somehow indicate to you that it is coming from a certain kind of fictional place, then it is much easier to forgive its inaccuracies. But if it is based on a true story or sort of wears the clothes of something that, you know, seems like it's based on a true story, it becomes harder and harder to forgive these things that diverge from, uh, you know, facts of the real world. And I think that this is, I think that this is probably really the heart of the problem that, you know, when we go and see something like Jurassic Park, we have this general understanding that it is, as far as movies go, kind of accurate about dinosaurs, but that it is also a big blockbuster motion picture, you know, nonstop thrill ride. Uh, and so that, right, that is that tension. It's it's almost a marketing tension. And I think, yeah, this is a, it's a great way to put this problem. Eric Murray talks about how his experience being in the army makes it hard for him to suspend his disbelief watching action films. And this makes me wonder what professions have the sort of like highest incidence of not being able to watch particular movies or genres of movies because of how often they just get it completely wrong. And I would guess that Service Member is really high on the list as well as Astrophysicist. Cat Owl Films comment really seizes on something that I've been thinking about since we made this episode, which is situations where being faithful to reality is actually a slightly more or significantly more creative decision than what is natural in cinema, which is a really weird thing to think about. Like things where what would actually happen or what science has said is true would seem stranger to us in a film than what films have taught us is the case. Geezers on the Go asks a really great question, which is essentially if we are concerned about movies being accurate, whose accuracy is it? Now you're thinking like Idea Channel. That's a really good question. That is the hand of Idea Channel's director, Morgan. Boom. Fabi21 raises the really important question of accuracy as it relates to representation in media. And I think this is a, a massive and very important and endlessly fascinating conversation. And there have been all kinds of people like Mindy Kaling, Margaret Cho, who have talked about uh, sort of getting back to this question of whose accuracy counts as accuracy when portraying different um, races or orientations in media. And I think, yeah, this is definitely an important part of this conversation one that's big, uh, interesting, very complicated. Michael Miller's comment responds to another comment written by Wesley Whiteside about the uh, comic book side of this question, whether or not things like comic book movies have a responsibility to accurately portray the universes that they are referencing um, and sort of gets into the talk of um, intention and what the intention of the studios are when they're making these kinds of movies. And this is just, I just want to highlight this because this is a great comment. So uh, links to this one and all of the others in the doobly-doo. That's all for comment responses this week. Our 
first separate comment responses video. So if you want to write comments, but not about the comments that I have just responded to, you could write comments about how we are now doing comments. I would love to know what you think. Because I, I respect you and your opinion.